Welcome everybody, it's Captain Matt, Boater Secret Weapon, and today we're talking about the best boating lakes in the USA. This is going to be a multi-part series, so I would love to hear in the comments your favorite lakes, uh, the ones that you love to be on. The first one, and I've got some notes here, so we're going we're gonna to talk about Lake Coeur d'Alene. I know I, I've got to practice saying that. Uh, 25 miles long, uh, a mile to three miles wide, 109 miles of shoreline. It is uh, an hour east of Spokane, Washington, in the little panhandle of uh, of Idaho. You can see it's a it's a dammed up river, a nice wide area with, like I said, a mile to three miles wide. It was carved by the ice and the floods like 12,000 to 15,000 years ago. A nice deep lake, 120 feet uh, is the average depth, 220 feet is the is the deepest. It is a little bit above sea level, so you get these gorgeous views of the, uh, of the surrounding mountains. Next, we move over to Lake Tahoe, probably some of the prettiest water that you will find, although it's a little chilly. It is uh, two hours northeast of Sacramento, California. They've got a, a wooden boat show there every year. You can see it's just a, a big, round, open lake um, that's just tucked in the middle of uh, national forests and, um, and the mountains. Uh, great scuba diving. You can see the color of the water is just gorgeous. The, the big pines. They've got a bunch of lakefront restaurants. Um, they, they even do scuba diving there uh, because the water is so clean. And um, just make sure that you know what you're doing because the altitude, uh, being at altitude there, can have an impact as you uh, come up to the surface, I guess. I'm not a diver. Next, we've got Smith Mountain Lake. This is in um, just outside Roanoke, Virginia. I had friends that went there over the pandemic and absolutely loved it. It's gorgeous. I've had clients that have taken boats up there that I've sold them. Um, it's about an hour southeast of Roanoke, 500 miles of shoreline, uh, just over 20,000 acres, and it's nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains, which are gorgeous um, if you have not been. Uh, what about Bob was actually filmed there if you if you watch that movie. Uh, but you can rent a house. You can uh, go to some of the festivals and the events that they have going on. They've got dozens of marinas, and it's um, it's the Smith Mountain State Park is another beautiful kind of pristine, untouched area. Uh, but this lake is is not crazy super developed, but um, it's got all the amenities. You can find houses on VRBO or Airbnb and um, and some resorts as well. Next, we move to Torch Lake. This has been on my list to go to. I've got two friends that um, have places up there, and they go every year, and um, I just haven't made the trip, but it's beautiful. It is um, just next to Lake Michigan, actually, 45 minutes northeast of Traverse City, Michigan, and um, you can actually get out to Lake Michigan if you go through a couple of different canals and uh, an another lake that's right next door. It's a glacial lake. Um, and the water is amazing. I've seen pictures of my buddies fishing there and um, just being out of the boat. They've got a great sandbar on the southern end of the lake, I think it is. But average depth is 111 feet. The max depth is 285. It's 19 miles long, two miles wide. And you can see how it's situated kind of right next to Lake. This is Lake Michigan here in uh, Traverse Bay. And if you come through this little cut here, you can get out to this lake and then you can get on to uh, the Great Lakes. But uh, just beautiful. 18,000 acres and um, 19 miles wide, two miles long. And just the sunset pictures that uh, my friends Dan and Brett have sent me, uh, their wives, Jen and Liz, are cousins, and it's their family place. They've been going there since they were kids. It's amazing. It's gorgeous and um, and beautiful sunsets. Next, we move up to the state of Washington, Lake Chalene. Lake Chalene is uh, it's northeast of Seattle and about four hours north of Yakima, but you've got mountains in between. So it's like five hours, six hours from uh, Seattle, even though it doesn't look that far on the map, but you're all nestled in all these mountains, 50 miles long, a long, narrow lake. Depth. 474 feet is the average depth. So this is a crazy deep lake, 1,400 feet at its deepest. It's one of the deepest lakes in the U.S., one of the third deepest, 109 miles of shoreline. And uh, the, most of the marinas are kind of tucked on the, the southern end of the lake. Um, again, you're in the mountains, and so you're, you're just in some beautiful, beautiful country um, up, in the, uh, up in the northwest. Then we move to Flathead Lake. I just discovered this one as I was researching. Had a few people on my channel comment about it. It's about an hour north. Flathead Lake is an hour north of Missoula, Montana, three hours east of Coeur d'Alene. Um, it, one of the cleanest lakes. That's, that's what it's known for, being one of the cleanest lakes um, in the world. 
27 miles long, 15 miles wide, 160 miles of shoreline. Um, and again, another one of those deep lakes, 164 feet deep, 370 at its maximum. And it's, but it's at elevation again. So you're tucked in this nice big body of water and you're just surrounded by the mountains. You can see all the national forest, Flathead National Forest that um, surrounds it and just looks amazing, like a, a place that uh, you definitely want to check out. Now we move down south to Alabama, Lake Martin. Lake Martin's about an hour northeast of Montgomery, two hours southeast of Birmingham, and um, just nestled in the kind of the pristine forest. Again, you see that it's all, a lot of these lakes are just surrounded by national forests, um, by forested areas, and um, just beautiful. Tons of marinas on this lake, a lot of restaurants, um, 39,000 acres, 750 miles of wooded shoreline. Um, and it's, it's not super, super developed. It's getting more so, like almost all waterways are right now, uh, but several restaurants and a ton of different islands that are on the lake, including these sheer rock cliffs that uh, people jump off of, a nice clean water again, and um, just gorgeous. And of course, sunsets on the water are tough to beat on almost any place. If you're a new boater, go check out the Boater Boot Camp. It's a three-part video series, totally free. Let me know what your favorite lakes are. You can get that at BoaterBootCamp.com. Uh, if you have trouble handling your boat, docking your boat, maneuvering your boat, best boat captain on the water will fix that. And remember, life truly is better on a boat.